Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be on how to be more present during sex and how to focus on pleasure instead of orgasm. So I get a lot of requests and um, women reaching out to me asking about how to be more present during sex. Um, and I can definitely understand that struggle. I have had sex many times before where it's over and I'm like, was I even there for that experience? Um, just like with everything going on in our lives, we have stressors, we have tons of things we're thinking about, and most of the time we can just get put on autopilot. Um, think about like driving your car home. Uh, every single day you do a certain commute and some parts of it you just kind of black out because you're so used to it. Um, if your sex is becoming like that, where you're just kind of like on auto autopilot, not being present in an experience, um, that's totally normal, you're not alone. And and there's different tips and tricks that we can use to be more present in sex um, and to get more engaged in sex and to be more excited about sex and so that's what I'm going to be sharing today with you. So the first tip I have when it comes to being more present in sex is just to learn to be more present in your life. Um, this is all stuff that we've heard before, mindfulness, meditation, focusing on our breath. Um, these are all things that we can do day to day as practices, even if it's just two to five minutes a day you sit quietly with yourself. That mindfulness um, practice of bringing your attention back to one thing like your breath or your body is really helpful when we encounter sexual experiences because we can bring our attention back to our bodies and the experience and not what's going on in our mind. Um, the second thing that you can do to be more present during sex is to focus on pleasure and the sensation and not orgasm. <laughs> so I know that seems a little bit um, counterintuitive. Obviously people have been told and society tells us we have sex to have orgasms um, and orgasms are wonderful, wonderful things. Um, but they're not always what we want to be focusing on during sex because if we have trouble orgasming, which lots of women struggle with, um, especially during like penetrative sex or if someone maybe is giving you oral sex, um, focusing on why something isn't happening for you isn't going to necessarily make it happen any faster and your brain's going to go off into a little bit more of an anxiety induced mode instead of focusing on the pleasure and in your body. So we want to focus on pleasure in our sexual experiences and the sensations in our body. Um, mindfulness helps with this. So when you start a sexual experience with someone, you focus on how they feel on your body. Make sure you're in an environment and you set up a context that works for you. Um, I did a video earlier on how to increase your sexual desire slash drive. I don't really like to use the word drive anymore. Um, but yeah, in that video, go watch it after this. I talk about um, accelerators, brakes, and context. But basically, um, in summary, you just want to create a context in which you can be fully relaxed. So um, you are in a state that your brakes are all turned off, so your stressors, your worries, your anxieties um, aren't activated, which means um, maybe if time is a, is a break for you or something that stresses you out, making sure that you have tons of time um, to have the sexual experience, you're not rushed. Um, if privacy is an issue for you, making sure that you know, you're know you in a place where no one's gonna disturb you. Um, and then once you kind of turn off those brakes, um, looking at some accelerators. So maybe you light a candle, maybe you turn on some music, maybe you do like a massage first to kind of get your, your body relaxed and in the mood for like pleasure and sensation. Um, so there are different ways that you can kind of set the mood. Um, and once you do that, when you start to move into the sexual experience, we want to focus on our bodies, right? So we've created this context and we've created this space where we feel most at home. Um, we feel comfortable in our bodies. We have our own body awareness. We've cultivated that and we feel as though we are ready to, you know, be fully present in this experience. And one thing that I think also helps is just slowing it down. Um, I know on TV and in movies and even in your own sexual life there's been times probably where it's been really fast and exciting and um, you know spontaneous but um, that's not going to make you super present always, right? Um, so trying to slow it down, um, understanding that spontaneous desire is not normal for a lot of people. Um, responsive desire is, so creating, again, environments in which we want to respond and that we want to be in um, and, and slowing it down and really like savoring each moment um, and using our mindfulness tools to kind of 
tap into our bodies um, can help us be more aware of our sexual experience. Um, if you notice you're in an experience and your mind's wandering or you're not there, um, taking a pause, taking a breath, you know, maybe going back to foreplay for a bit, um, tuning back into your body and how it's feeling. Um, again, not pressure, not pressuring yourself for time, um, and and also communicating that to your partner. Um, if you are with a partner, you can also do this solo sex as well. But communicating to your partner, like, hey, I, I need a moment here. Can we can we slow this down? Because um, I really want to be present and aware, and I find my mind's wandering. And if your mind's wandering a lot, maybe that just means that one of your brakes is still on, and you have to turn that off before you can initiate the sexual experience and that's totally normal and totally okay. Um, if a breaks on and we're trying to be present and we can't be, it's just going to frustrate us and it's going to create a context in which we don't want to have sex. So, um, you know, taking the steps prior, I know it doesn't seem like the movie ideal of sexy, but that's real life, that's human, that's normal, it's okay. Um, so setting up that context um, is super important and making sure that you are fully able to be in that space with that person at that time, or if you're by yourself, being with yourself at that time, right? Um, lots of times through solo masturbation, I did a video on conscious masturbation, um, you know, focusing on a, a, a scenario in your head and then the sensation of your, um, whatever you're doing to stimulate pleasure on your body, right? So um, kind of going back into, between the two and then sometimes even just focusing primarily on one body part. So for example, if your partner is going down on you um, or giving you oral sex, um, focusing on that sensation, right? And just bringing your mind back to that sensation, just like you would if you were meditating. I do want to give a little end note here that obviously there are a lot of things that go on for ourselves, especially um, when we're being vulnerable and intimate with someone that can distract us and keep us from being present. So the opinions and beliefs that we have about ourselves and our sexuality, um, stress going on in our lives, how we feel about our bodies, body confidence, um, these aren't unfortunately quick fixes, right? These are things that we have to work on every single day. Um, and I wish I could kind of give you like a one size fits all um, tip, but sometimes you have to kind of just face those bigger demons first and then work your way into being more present in the bedroom. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Follow us on Instagram as well. It's at CVO Wellness. Um, please DM me if you have any questions. I am so happy to talk about this stuff. Um, I'm open to talking about it, so please don't be shy. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you for another video soon.